Today's horoscope and tarot from Astro Academy, Gemini March 18, 2022. The Sun and Jupiter are heading into alignment, and increased optimism and hope can be powerful healers. It's a time of abundant ideas to improve your health or work attitudes and efforts. Finding more meaning in your work and satisfaction in helping or serving others is a big theme. Graciousness leads to success now. When Jupiter is involved, it's always best to watch for overcommitting, which can come back to haunt you at a later time when you're not as energized or motivated. Otherwise, you can feel a real surge of optimism and confidence about self-care and self-improvement going forward, particularly through efforts to upgrade your daily life, habits, and routines. Events or epiphanies today can increase your commitment to, or excitement about, making positive changes. What's theirs is yours. Falling for someone new? Never say, never. The moon's shift into overzealous Aries and your harmony-seeking seventh house of agreements, compromise, and significant others brings emotional emphasis and intuitive clarity to themes surrounding everything from your contractual agreements to your desire for a committed relationship. The universe has your back, so don't lose hope. And always express gratitude. Meanwhile, the moon's ruler Mars, which also happens to govern your relationship sector will be sitting alongside your celestial ruler, Venus, via your cozy fourth house of home. It's time to build your dream home with the right person by your side. Inspiration can come from anyone, anywhere, at any time. As the sun in Pisces sextals Uranus in Taurus today, it may be time to consider a different method or routine at work. Uranus is shaking up your shared resources and money, while the sun is energizing your everyday work life. So, you may find that your fantastical routine could do wonders for your fiscal security. Since Mercury conjunct Saturn in Aquarius as well, you could be scheming of new, innovative ways to tackle your creative pursuits at work. Try not to lean into the pessimistic view of the conjunction. In the lead-up to the moon's return to your financial sector tomorrow this is an important point in any month for having your antennas up while taking a wait-and-see approach. This gives you time to process a friendly aspect between the moon on the job and the south node on the income front yesterday and the window this was into something bigger developing on both fronts. You need some new friends. That's not to say you should ditch the old ones, but if somebody makes you a surprising offer, go ahead and accept it. Things may not go as planned today. Just when you are starting to get things going your way, something can happen to upset the whole picture. What you do in a situation like this says a lot about you. In order to have the patience and endurance you will need, be sure to get aerobic exercise. The oxygen in your bloodstream is converted directly into patience. And a bit of spicy food is good to get the toxins out of your blood, too. With the essence of this day at hand today you can expect to feel ready to get productive. You will find your mind sharp and thinking clear, along with feeling energized. Don't dawdle on a day like this. Make a list, pull out your schedule, and get on the phone if there are calls that need to be made. If there's any cleaning or organizing required, you'll have no problem whatsoever. Be sure to take time to wind down and relax later on. For the second time this week, there is a friendly aspect between planets in Aquarius and those in a fun, playful, romantic and creatively charged part of your chart. This time it is Mars, with the planet of passion and the warrior planet of the cosmos taking over from where Venus, the planet of love left off earlier in the week. This is tapping into your heart's needs and priorities, at a time when Venus and Mars are working to give your heart a sense of direction and for something to channel your passions, drive, competitive and warrior spirit into. Just days after Venus, the planet of love formed a friendly aspect to the dwarf planet Ceres in your romantic sector, Mars steps into her shoes. Venus is still tantalizingly close, taking the steps she took earlier in the week to better understand your romantic needs and priorities to the next level. Where Venus is more about awareness, Mars is more about action and making things happen. Your tarot reading for today. Strength, 
the fool and the chariot. You will find yourself involved in a game of seduction with a man. He is older than you and at first contact will try to seduce you with simple words and knowing smiles. You will need to show restraint, to give things time and not get carried away. In love, time is a good ally because it gives you the distance you need to analyze your feelings and see whether they want to be part of something long term or not. The first days of a romance always feel like you are being submerged in a wave of emotion and you no longer see what is happening around you. You lose touch with reality and at such times it is easy to make a bad decision, to get on the wrong path. In the next few days of April this game of seduction will start and you'll quickly get besotted by these exchanges and feel you heart beating when you receive a message from him. You won't be able to wait to answer and your exchanges will take wing. The only thing left to decide is whether to continue with this person or not. Because be careful, you'll quickly get used to this game and you should not let this relationship spoil other aspects of your life that you like. If you are currently in a relationship, you need to learn to set limits in order to protect yourself. If not, you should be wary of this man's intentions and ensure they are sound. The cards you have drawn are auspicious for the future and herald a prosperous period full of happiness and success. It seems that if you want to be achieve things in your personal and love life over the coming weeks, you have all the cards you need in your hand. Our eyes in the sky. Look for small blessings, magical moments, and unexpected opportunities for financial gain right now, though there's no telling how big or small these payouts will be. In honor of these vibes, you might want to do something nice for someone you care about to help propel the thrill of this cosmic climate. While things could be delightfully unpredictable early on, you'll want to stay grounded by focusing on small tasks and duties throughout the remainder of the day. Communicative Mercury and expansive Jupiter face off in the sky tonight, which could cause you to feel overwhelmed or as though too many people are vying for your attention. The prospect of change and the work that goes with it could also feel like a daunting challenge to take on, which is exactly why breaking things into smaller, more digestible steps should be a priority. It's also important to remember that it's okay to step back from your responsibilities for a bit, especially if you're feeling highly stressed or tightly wound. Use this time to decompress and try not to have unreasonable expectations for yourself or those around you. Emotional territory is rarely ever streamlined to a point of complete confidence, and the Virgo moon tends to see us waxing critical, overly judgmental of our own flaws or others' actions. Uranus and Trine helps us to lighten up. At this juncture, we perceive that life is full of unpredictable twists and turns. What matters isn't how well we anticipate the unexpected, but how we rise to those occasions with a willingness to do what must be done. In this way, there is less pressure to be perfect and more of a willingness to go with the flow and see to matters as they arise. This is a great occasion to break away from habitual and debilitating performance anxiety.